It's racing through the cosmic void, a blazing visitor from another galaxy. NASA says Comet 3i Atlas is now closing in for its closest pass by Earth. And the world's telescopes are chasing it frame by frame. 3i Atlas is no longer just an interstellar comet under observation. It has become an outright challenge to the physics that define how comets behave. Over the past several weeks, every new image has revealed structures and dynamics that simply should not exist under known natural processes. A sun-facing anti-tail extending tens of thousands of kilometers. A coma shaped in the wrong direction, glowing brightest toward the sun rather than away from it. Jets and fragment-like objects behaving as if gravity is irrelevant and an accelerating nucleus that refuses to follow a gravitational path alone. Astronomers are accustomed to surprises, but 3i Atlas has entered a category of its own, producing a constellation of anomalies that grow more startling as the comet approaches Earth. What was once interesting is now scientifically uncomfortable, forcing researchers to decide whether these features can be reconciled with known comet activity or whether 3i Atlas demands an entirely new framework. When observers first noted the persistent sunward extension, eventually measured at more than 60,000 kilometers, it quickly became clear this was not the optical trick occasionally seen when Earth crosses a comet's orbital plane. Multiple observatories confirmed that the feature physically points toward the Sun, dynamically connected to the nucleus rather than created by perspective. That defiance of solar wind pressure is the first violation of cometary norms, and Hubble's subsequent high-resolution imaging only sharpened the tension. Its 0.04 arc second per pixel gradient map revealed two powerful jets and a distinctly teardrop-shaped coma whose brightest region should have been trailing the comet, but instead extends in the sunward direction. Comet halos behave like smoke in a windstorm, always pushed back, always away. This one glows like a torch aimed directly at the wind itself. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb's earlier prediction of non-gravitational acceleration has become more difficult to dismiss in light of the new Hubble data. Loeb proposed that the comet may have shed a swarm of macroscopic objects, meter scale or larger, that drifted sunward as a result of this extra push. His model estimated that by late November the swarm would lie roughly 60,000 kilometers ahead of the nucleus. When the new anti-tail measurement aligned almost exactly with that forecast, theoretical discussions shifted. Either 3i Atlas is governed by a natural but unfamiliar mechanism capable of creating long-range directed particle structures, or something more actively controlled is shaping its environment. While that debate intensified, ESA's JU spacecraft offered an unexpected early glimpse from a vantage point Earth cannot match. On November 2, two days before its closest approach to the comet at 66 million kilometers, JUICE captured a partial navigation image that revealed a sharply defined glowing halo and a split tail configuration. Even with its lower resolution antenna throttling data flow, the frames confirmed the object's intensity and structural complexity. JUICE's spectrometers and high-resolution Janus camera also recorded data that will not reach Earth until February, raising anticipation for what chemical and thermal signatures may reveal. This will be the first time an interstellar comet is observed at such proximity by a spacecraft, and expectations are high that the results may clarify whether 3i Atlas's behavior is chemical, mechanical, or something unprecedented. Ground-based observations, meanwhile, have been tracking the comet's outgassing patterns with surprising results. ALMA's multi-epoch study detected significant releases of methanol and hydrogen cyanide, both molecules with deep interstellar heritage and connections to prebiotic chemistry. Methanol emissions surged dramatically between August and October, while hydrogen cyanide appeared unevenly distributed around the nucleus, depleted in the sunward direction. The ratios between these molecules are among the highest ever recorded in a comet, rivaled only by one of the strangest comets on record. The strange directional asymmetry and the sheer abundance of methanol present another puzzle. 
Why would the region of the comet facing the Sun show enhanced production of a molecule that typically breaks down under heat? And why are the chemical signatures so extreme compared to familiar solar system comets? The visual anomalies compound these chemical mysteries. A sequence of images analyzed by a Thai astronomer revealed rhythmic bursts of brightness near the nucleus, sharp, sudden peaks that seem inconsistent with random outgassing. If these flashes correspond to large fragments temporarily emerging from the coma, their apparent stability raises an uncomfortable point. 3i Atlas does not possess the gravity to support objects in orbit. For fragments a kilometer or more across to linger near the nucleus, they would need either extremely low relative velocity or some form of external influence. If the comet is breaking apart, it is doing so in a strangely coordinated fashion. If the objects are moving independently, they are doing so in defiance of the gravitational limits of a 6 to 20 kilometer body. This is the kind of data that invites competing interpretations, each more speculative than the last. Cryovulcanism has been the most publicized natural explanation so far, despite its current lack of peer-reviewed backing. The model proposes that internal reservoirs of supercooled liquid, slush-like volatiles, or pressurized pockets of gas could erupt violently as the comet heats, producing jets powerful enough to generate long, narrow plumes that masquerade as an anti-tail. In theory, if 3i Atlas possessed an internal ocean or subcrustal chambers similar to those seen on some outer solar system bodies, sunlight alone might trigger explosive venting as trapped volatiles flash into gas. But this requires a level of internal complexity and a set of environmental conditions that are unprecedented for a comet. Known cryovolcanic bodies such as Enceladus, Europa, and Triton demonstrate this activity only because they exist within brutally strong gravitational regimes. By contrast, 3i Atlas is isolated, experiencing neither tidal compression nor any significant gravitational forcing beyond its encounter with the Sun, which at distances of one to two astronomical units provides relatively gentle heating. A body only a few kilometers across would have cooled to deep cryogenic temperatures over billions of years in interstellar space. In that environment, any subsurface reservoirs would have frozen solid long before entering the solar system unless the object possesses an internal heat source, a radioactive core, residual formation heat, or frictional heating from structure collapse, none of which have been evidenced and all of which would challenge current models of comet evolution. Even if some internal reservoir were present, the explosive power required to generate million-kilometer lances of material that defy solar wind direction exceeds anything observed in natural cryovolcanism. Additionally, the chemical signals detected from 3i Atlas complicate the cryovolcanism model further. ALMA's observations of enhanced methanol and asymmetric hydrogen cyanide production are difficult to reconcile with standard cryovolcanic chemistry. Methanol tends to degrade under heat, yet 3i Atlas produces more of it in the sunward direction, the very region where cryovolcanic heating would be expected to break volatiles apart. The extreme methanol to HCN ratios, which barely resemble those of known solar system comets, suggest processes that may not be purely thermal or eruptive in nature. Another issue arises from the structural behavior of the comet's nucleus. Time series images showing periodic flashes and fragment-like objects near the core hint at either discrete chunk ejection or orbit-like motion, neither of which match expected outcomes of cryovolcanic outbursts. Eruptions powerful enough to hurl kilometer-scale fragments would likely destabilize the nucleus, producing chaotic debris fields rather than the coherent, stable patterns seen in observations. And fragments lingering near the nucleus contradict the limited gravity of a small comet. Cryovolcanism would disperse them rapidly, not retain them in proximity. In essence, for cryovolcanism to explain 3i Atlas, the comet would need to behave unlike any volatile-rich body ever observed. It would require sustained internal heating without a known energy source, precise jet collimation without magnetic or gravitational guidance, chemically anomalous emissions inconsistent with thermal breakdown, 
and large-scale plume dynamics capable of pushing material directly into the solar wind. If 3I Atlas is cryovolcanic, it is not simply cryovolcanic in the traditional sense, it is operating under a regime of physics never documented in any icy body in the solar system. What complicates matters further is the way the scientific community has reacted. The urge to favor natural explanations, even under severe strain, has overshadowed more speculative possibilities. Artificial explanations, even those grounded in propulsion physics or structural engineering, are often set aside reflexively, not because they lack coherence, but because they fall outside the preferred interpretive framework. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, the argument goes, though in practice the threshold for extraordinary is set so high that interstellar objects showing repeated physical anomalies are still categorized as simply misunderstood comets. Yet the list of unexplained features grows. A directional anti-tail unaffected by solar wind pressure, a coma oriented the wrong way, a swarm-like distribution of macroscopic objects, extreme chemical ratios, and non-gravitational acceleration that matches predictive modeling. As the comet accelerates toward its closest approach, the scientific community stands at an unusual crossroads. The next few months will determine whether 3I Atlas becomes a triumph of new astrophysical understanding or a turning point in how scientists approach anomalous interstellar objects. The delayed JUICE data may reveal exotic natural mechanisms, or it may deepen the contradictions already evident. The comet's changing structure, its unpredictable jets, and its chemically rich emissions will be tracked intensely from Earth. Whatever unfolds, 3I Atlas has already accomplished something rare. It has forced a re-examination of long-held assumptions about what a comet is, what an interstellar visitor can do, and how willing we are to accept data that refuses to behave. For now, the object continues its passage through the inner solar system, leaving behind a trail of questions sharper and longer than its sunward anti-tail. Some may find their answers in physics, others might require broader thinking. But the significance of 3I Atlas is already clear. It has breached the boundary between the expected and the unimaginable. And it reminds us, scientists, skeptics, and the curious alike, that discovery is often born not from what we understand, but from what refuses to fit.